Hi, this is Pac-Man5698 of YouTube, and in this video, I will be showing you my Wii, my Nintendo Wii review. As you can see, it's in perfect condition. It's a little dusty, but what consoles aren't nowadays? Uh, so for the video game era nowadays, this is the best console you can get. Whatever you do, do not get an Xbox 360. It may do HD, which is good, but aside from a few games, you could just get on the PS3, and a few um, is pretty much all that's good for. It breaks so easily, and you'll be wasting hundreds and hundreds of dollars just playing for a few days, and then it will break. So do not be fooled by the th by its advertisement stuff. You may consider getting a PS3. It doesn't break as easily. It can be trusted more than the 360. But still, it's been known to have some errors. But still, you should get a PS3. It does do HD. But for the Wii, it has everything. It has a good variety of games. It's durable. It doesn't break as easily. It has games with great gameplay. Do not, I repeat, do not be fooled by the fact that the Wii does not do HD. It still has a great library of games and you'll probably enjoy it. The, that whole stuff, the Wii is for kids, well it does have a great library of games that are for kids, but it but it also has some games that could be teen or mature rated. So yeah, as you can see, it's very white. I could put a skin over it, but I don't believe in that. The CD tray is protected by a black foam la layer to protect from dust. This was from 2008 and it's still working fine. I decided to keep the GameCube memory card into the system. It plays GameCube games, which is pretty good. You put the controllers in there, it has some instructions. You just put the disc, si you put Wii disc sideways in, and for GameCube games you do the same thing, except it's going to put them right in the middle. I don't know if you'll be able to see clearly, but... If you look in the back, you can see the cables for the RCA, AC adapter, and the sensor cables. The sensor cables is above my Comcast digital box. It picks up the signal pretty well. I'm going to move it a little bit more into position. Whoops. There we go. The RCA cables are here. They look pretty well. And they're just two RCA cables that give you sound audio and video for the for Wii gameplay. I'm also going to show you uh, some of the accessories that have to it. I still have the original box and it came with the console itself and it came with the controller. The controller is one of the main symbols for the Wii. I use a battery pack so I don't have to constantly keep on buying AA batteries. As you can see here you've got your power button, your D-pad, a buttons, home button, positive, negative buttons, one and two buttons. The signal here, it lights up if you press a button. And you have a B button on the back. And the battery pack here, as you can see, it's gray and rubbery. And here you have the nunchuck. You have your analog stick. You have your C stick. Uh, button, sorry, you have your C button. You have your Z button and it just basically snaps in place. I may hold the video camera because I can't do two, two things with just one hand. Okay, this is how it goes. You just take the... you just snap it in place there like that and there you go. You can you can now play with the Wemo nunchuck. I still have the original box. I'm not going to open it to save you time. Okay, I'll open it actually. It came with two layers. And if I pull one layer out. This one had, I believe, the console itself and the Wiimote nunchuck and some instruction manuals. I have no idea what this is for. I think it was for the plastic wrapping. And the second layer, I believe, was for the AC adapter. It was for the AC adapter and the nunchuck. 
I don't know actually exactly. It's been two years since 2008. There's a little note there I'm keeping for a funny video. <laughs> and I'm also going to show you some of the things that came with the Wii. I still own two skins. I have two Wii modes now. One's in that blue foam box above the book 2012 I got just today. Uh, yeah, these, um, usually I don't use, use these a whole lot, use these for beginning games, but if I'm eating and playing Wii, I usually put these over the, the controller so I don't get greasy food stuff all over. I have some SD cards, I'll show you that later for the different kinds of channels. These are GameCube controllers. I have one for the first player, it's pretty nifty, pretty large for a normal GameCube controller. This I use from for some other missions. Right now all I have are Star Wars games. I showed you the videos of Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2. But so yeah, it works pretty well. I'm not going to entirely review the consoles because maybe in later I'll do a GameCube proportion and review about the Wii. And here we have classic controllers for a virtual console. Virtual console, in my opinion, is one of the greatest things that the Nintendo Wii has to offer. There's nothing better than, than revis revisiting memories. And also playing NES games, that may not further work. I have a Generation NEX though, and it still works with some Wii games, but for now, all I have is cruddy games like Silver Surfer and, and The Karate Kid and Ghosts and Goblins and Friday the, thir and Friday the 13th. I still have some go good games like Dr. Mario, Popeye, Kung Fu, and Pac-Man. Pac and Double Dragon. So yeah, I got off track, so here we have an accessory. I stole in some of the original boxes for the accessories. This, um, it's hard to explain. Basically what happens here is that you plug in your nunchuck to this, I think it's Nyko something or rather. I, don't, I think Nyko makes um, a, an, a, unlicensed accessories for the Wii. Basically you connect this um, uh, to the nunchuck and you also have this little on um, a thing that you're supposed to connect to the Wiimote and if you do that together you'll be able to play with the nunchuck and the Wii separate. So yeah, I use it sometimes for fun. The only complaint is that sometimes the C button is hidden beneath the plastic bar. So there's not a whole lot to that. In fact, I think I'm gonna put it away. Keep my games in good order. Here you, we've got Mario Kart Wii. For me, it's probably the best Mario Kart since you can play online and it has great graphics. Uh, I keep, I keep the wheel and the game separate. I don't know, just because I'm a little picky about how I like to arrange my games. <laughs> this is an example. I think the the company is Nyko, as I said before. Yeah, as you can see there, Nyko. This is the Wii Perfect Shot. It's basically a little handgun which you slide your Wii on there. It's kind of hard to get into, but I'm still going to keep it in its box for now. I may use it in later games. You've got Wii Sports Resort. It still has a little Wii Motion Plus. And the instruction manual here. And finally here you've got Link's Crossbow Training. It came with the game itself. And it's actually pretty good. You can use it with Call of Duty World at War games. And yeah, I think I may open it up to show you what it looks like. Sorry, I'm gonna put the camera down for a sec since I can't get a good grip on it. Enjoy looking at my ceiling. Okay, there we go. This is pretty much it. It's the weak perfect shot. The nunchuck fits, fits here and the Wii Motion Plus fits here, and it's actually a pretty pretty good accessory for the Wii. I'm getting close to a 10 minute time limit, so I'm going to end here. Tune in for part 2 where I actually play some games.